You mentioned that you have PCOS and your doctor has prescribed medications to help manage the symptoms associated with PCOS, but you're also wanting to have a baby and you're wondering when you're ovulating. And step one is talking with your doctor about your cycles. If you're having irregular periods, then it's hard to know when and even if you're ovulating at all. A lot of women who have PCOS aren't ovulating or having regular cycles and this obviously makes it very hard to get pregnant. So the first thing you need to do is talk with your doctor about your cycles and about ovulation and um, they'll be able to decide if anything needs to be done in order to help you ovulate or to become more regular before you start trying to conceive. Once that issue has been taken care of, there's a few different ways you can track ovulation. For one, there's the calendar or rhythm method, and most women will ovulate about mid-cycle or 12 to 16 days before their next period is going to start. So in order for ovulation to occur, you need to be having a cycle that's about 25 to 35 days in length, and then it will usually be happen happening in the middle of the cycle, day one of your cycle being the first day of your period. So let's say you have a 28-day cycle you're most likely going to ovulate um, around day 14, but because it's not an exact science, some women might ovulate a few days before that, some women might ovulate a few days later, and so there are other signs that you can watch for to help you know when your body is ovulating. You can use ovulation tests, like you mentioned, but they are also pricey, and um, most local drug stores will carry them, and um, a lot of stores have a generic brand, and they're going to work equally as well and cost you less. So you can start with those. The manufacturers of most ovulation tests recommend that women start testing around day nine, but you might want to test a little bit earlier if your cycles are, sh are shorter because maybe you're ovulating a little bit sooner. And what they're looking for is a surge in LH or luteinizing hormone, and this is the hormone associated with ovulation. And you'll see a positive result 12 to 36 hours before you're going to ovulate. So basically, a positive means that you need to have intercourse and that will give you a chance at actually getting pregnant. Once you stop seeing positives, then you've ovulated and your chance for getting pregnant is over. Um, but there are other things that you can watch, like your basal body temperature. This is where you take your temperature every day in bed before you even get up and go to the bathroom or even take a drink or anything. Take your temperature and track this and you won't notice a difference, but actually um, a couple of days after ovulation, your temperature will rise about 0.5 to 1 degree Fahrenheit and it will stay persistently elevated until your next period starts. If you get pregnant, it never really falls. This is helpful in, in retrospect because you can look back at months where you've been tracking your temperature and kind of see when that um, increase in temperature happens and then a couple days before that is when you're likely to be ovulating. So if that's usually happening around, let's say, day 15 or 16 of your cycle, you'll know that that's what you're shooting for. That's the end of your fertile window or the time when you're most likely going to be ovulating. There's one other thing you can track. You can watch for changes in cervical mucus. Um, in between periods, most women notice that they don't have a ton of vaginal discharge, although a little bit is normal. But um, it's normal to, to see a change around the time of ovulation, like um, discharge will become more slippery and clear, kind of like raw egg whites. And um, if you're noticing these changes, then your body's probably about ready to ovulate. And these changes happen to be more sperm friendly. It makes it easier for sperm to swim up to the egg. So again, you can start tracking these things in the meantime, but do talk with your doctor and based on their knowledge of your circumstances, they'll be able to help make sure you're having regular cycles and give you further information about how to increase your chances of conceiving. Best of luck to you, and if you have more questions in the future for me, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.